Hey guys, and welcome to episode 5 of How to Code a Minecraft Client. In this episode, I will be going in-depth with the GUI. And you may notice that I have a new computer, so I will be pumping out videos. I have three recorded right now. And let's just get started. So, all we're going to do is, this is, if you've ever seen, like, Notice, for example, they have the chords but they don't have all those extra numbers like this would or these the x y and z and i'm going to show you how you can do that and to make more fancy rectangles that have a border around them so first you want to type draw string font renderer then in parentheses new string Builder, empty uh, parentheses and outside of. So, on the last one, just go there and do dot append. Then your client name. All my actual client right now. So, and then two four seven F. And do a space and do dot append dot append x dot append okay this part's important so these chords are normally doubles and what doubles are is um what they mean is they can have numbers after them but what we're doing is we're making it an integer that is one whole number there's no decimals so, in here, you want to do a parentheses and do another pair and type int. Then, right outside of that pair you did int in, you want to do mc dot the player dot position x. And I don't normally do the y, but for the purpose of this, I will. So, dot append space y space dot append int mc dot the player dot position y dot append space z space dot append uh holy derp int mc dot the player dot position z and now you're not done with this yet you want to go right here and type dot to string and then do the position like you would normal font renderer yeah there we go and then so if we run this actually I'm gonna run it in debug so I can show you something so if we just run this and we go I don't have my multiplayer server up because I'm a retard let's see at the top oh yeah and then you wanna go to your server so let me position this so I can kinda just do this and then see I don't have that there but fix that so you just want to come all over here right before this dot to string do another dot append then just do that see there it is so now let's just see what happens if I take out this int on the X see look it does that and do the same with the rest of them See, look, that goes like across your whole screen. It looks retarded. <laughs> so, just let me add the int. Int. And then int. So, see, now it just all goes back down to the liking of whatever you want so 
Now I'm going to show you how to do uh, bordered rects. So bordered rectangles. So just let me get my method out of my custom class. Um, here we are. Draw bordered rect. This is actually, I made this one. It actually draws a border around it. It doesn't just draw a, um, uh, how, am I supposed, how do I say this? It actually draws more rectangles around it, so it doesn't actually put a rectangle behind it, which makes it look nicer. So, I'll leave all this in the description for the boarded rect. You want to go into GUI, and right under draw gradient rect, or whatever you want, just paste that in. So, draw boarded rect, and then you just want to add it here. So make sure it's on top of it, because what it's doing is rendering this in order. So, if you have this underneath it, it'll render the text and then the rectangle over it. So, want to do GUI dot draw bordered rect, and then just two, 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 one, then your colors, and... Hold on while I get my GUI colors. Alright, and I'm back with the colors. So just paste that in there. And replace that with a comma. So now if I just end that off. And I load the game in debug so I can position the rectangle. So you notice at the top. Uh, Minecraft server, Minecraft underscore server. Just want to load mine up. It's easier to do it if you just open up the chat menu. So, right here, so two. How's 20 look? 100? One twenty five? No, I do not want to do that. That would be bad. <laughs> One thirty. 135. Yeah, I'll just do that. So then, you just want to make this 15, I think. Yeah, 15 is good. Uh, move that down to 10. I keep getting control A. Alright, so there you go. That's pretty much your boarded wrecked. <laughs> These are the cords. I think you can remove GUI. I don't know, though. Yeah, you can. You can just make it draw a board direct. I like GUI. Just to prove that this was the code. See, same thing. So, now you have this nice little draw rect. And if you don't believe me that that actually is border because you can't really see it. Let's change this to a 4. See a big border comes out. Change that back to a 1. Goes in. And you can play with the colors all you want. Uh, so that's pretty much the end of this video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.